Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to check for all or none. Sometimes the patterns you want to search for may have parts of it that may or may not exist. However, it may be important to check for them nonetheless. You can specify the possible existence of an element with a question mark. This checks for zero or one of the preceding elements. You can think of this symbol as saying the previous element is optional. For example, there are slight differences in American and British English, and you can use the question mark uh, to match both spellings. So American color, British color with a U. So rainbow regex is color, and then it has a question mark directly following the U, where they spell color like they do the British way. And so the American and the British, both ways of saying color, uh, render true in this regex test. So we want to change the regex fav regex to match the both American English favorite and the British English favorite version of the word. So we're basically just going to copy the fav word and then throw a U in there and then a question mark. And if we were to console.log, uh, let's say fav word, uh, well, we should just do it like British and American. Um, yeah, and then our, you know, American result is going to be uh, fav regex dot test American, and then our uh, second one is going to be our British result, which our fav regex is going to be British, and then we can console log uh, the American result as well as. We might as well just put a little thing in here that lets us know American result and British result. Cool. And we see it works for both of them. So I think it should work. Um, favorite and favorite. And we're testing them using the same fav regex. So it looks like our codes are passing. This is all just me trying to be a little bit more specific. Oh, it looks like I'm missing a new line here. Uh, this is just me trying to help you guys and provide some ideas on how to console log things to so you can test your own code. But if we run the test, it looks like the best. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.